always being featured as one of the best travel destinations in Europe, Romania has a lot of surprising facts and destinations for travelers. From natural wonders to rich heritage, we have got you 15 crazy facts you didn't know about Romania. Did you know, Romania has a lot to offer more than the legend of Dracula and Ceausescu's legacy? Well, it's time to find out. Let's start with number 15, the Palace of Parliament. The Palace of Parliament in Bucharest is really, really big. It's the second largest building globally, just after the Pentagon. Picture a building that's 240 meters long, 270 meters wide, and 86 meters tall, with a whopping 1,100 rooms on 12 floors. It's also super heavy, earning a record in Guinness World Records. The guy behind this massive project was Nicolae Ceausescu, a former leader of Romania. Even though he spent a ton of money on it, he never got to see it finished because he was executed. Despite its association with a dark period in history, visitors flocked to witness this imposing structure, making it a prominent attraction in Romania. So it's like a giant piece of history, both impressive and a bit sad at the same time. Now, let's check out the tallest wooden church in Europe. In the cozy village of Sapantaperi in northwestern Romania, you'll find something really special. The tallest wooden church globally, and the second tallest wooden building in Europe. This impressive structure stands proudly as a testament to the village's rich tradition of crafting almost a hundred wooden churches. Eight of these churches have even earned special recognition from UNESCO, making them World Heritage Sites. These wooden wonders are celebrated not just for their religious significance, but also for the incredible skill and tradition behind their construction. The church tower in Sapantaperi is a standout example towering over others in Europe. Imagine a village with nearly a hundred churches, all crafted with love and dedication from wood, and you start to grasp the unique charm of Sapantaperi. This small village's craftsmanship has earned it a special place in the world, showcasing the beauty and history of wooden architecture. So when you visit Sapantaperi, you're not just seeing a tall church, you're stepping into a world where wooden buildings tell stories of faith tradition and the hands that crafted them. But, have you ever heard of a cemetery which celebrates death? Well, that's what happens in the Mary Cemetery in the village of Sapinta. For most people, graveyards are sad and uncomfortable places to visit. But that's not the case for the Mary Cemetery in the village of Sapinta, Romania. The grave markers in this cemetery have a sense of cheerfulness rather than sadness. It is the world's most colorful graveyard. It started one day when a very talented local craftsman, Stan Lone Patris, started using his creativity to make colorful wooden crosses, which he painted with poems about the lives of his customers. A walk in the Sapinta Mary Cemetery will delight you visually as well as challenge you to meditate on the transient nature of life. In particular, pay attention to the symbols hidden in the colorful palette. Green is used to mean life. Yellow represents fertility, red signifies passion, and black represents death. That was amusing, right? But it gets even better. Did you know that even Romania has their version of Mount Rushmore? In Romania, close to Orsova City and the Danube River, there's this really tall rock sculpture of a king called Decibal. It's the tallest one in all of Europe, standing super high at 55 meters and being 25 meters wide. Imagine a massive king-shaped rock on the riverbank. So, this gigantic statue was created between 1994 and 2004. That's 10 whole years. It's perched on a rocky spot along the Danube, marking the boundary between Romania and Serbia at the Iron Gates. This place is special because it pays tribute to the last king of a long-ago kingdom called Dacia, which is like ancient Romania. A guy named Losif Constantin Dragon a Romanian businessman decided to make this colossal statue. It cost over a million US dollars, and the process was no small task. For the first six years, they used dynamite to shape the rock. And the next four years were all about adding the finer details to the king's face. Underneath the king's face, there's a special message in Latin saying, Decebalus Rex, Dragon Fecit, which means King Decebalus, made by Dragon. On the Serbian side of the river, 
There's even an old plaque carved into the rock, facing Romania like a historical conversation across the water. So when people see this enormous rock sculpture, they're not just seeing a big statue, they're witnessing a story carved into the Danube's edge, connecting Romania's history with a king from the past. But, I'm sure you have heard about a woman who was the only person to score a perfect 10 in the Olympics. Nadia Comaneci, a Romanian gymnast, is a true pioneer in the world of gymnastics. She made history at the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, Canada, when she became the first gymnast ever to score a perfect 10. Imagine doing something so amazing that the scoreboard couldn't handle it. Instead of showing her perfect score, it displayed a one because it wasn't designed for perfection. That's how incredible she was. What makes this achievement even more impressive is that Nadia accomplished it at the tender age of 14. Not stopping there, she clinched three gold medals, a silver and a bronze, making her the star of the Olympics at just 15 years old. Her performances were like magic, capturing the hearts of people around the world. Nadia's groundbreaking success continued to shape the gymnastics landscape. Beyond her jaw-dropping routines, she brought gymnastics into the spotlight and made it a global phenomenon. In 1976, she wasn't just winning medals, she was making history and inspiring countless young athletes. After her remarkable Olympic journey, Nadia faced challenges in Romania, eventually deciding to move to the United States in 1989. In the U.S., she continued to contribute to the world of gymnastics through coaching and various activities. Nadia Comaneci's legacy isn't just about perfect scores and gold medals. It's about breaking barriers and showing the world what's possible regardless of age or background. Her impact on gymnastics is timeless, and her story remains an enduring source of inspiration for generations of athletes to come. But, did you know what Romanians love more than sports? Their alcohol. Romanians have a strong liking for alcohol, consistently ranking in the top five worldwide for annual alcohol consumption, with an average of around 14 liters per person. This surpasses even the traditionally considered heavy-drinking Brits, who consume about 11 liters annually. The country's love for alcohol extends to homemade drinks, with villages crafting their own beverages like Tuica, a brandy made from plums, pears, peaches, and other fermented fruits, alongside wine and beer, which is popular due to its low cost. This passion for alcohol isn't new. Even Romanian ancestors were big on wine. Around 50 BC, the king of the region, Birabista, noticed the excessive wine consumption and took action. He ordered the burning of grape cultures and set limits on cultivating and producing wine in the kingdom. This historical move shows just how deeply rooted the Romanian connection to alcoholic beverages is, dating back to ancient times. Today, the tradition lives on, making alcohol a significant part of Romanian culture and social life. But nothing beats the natural beauty Romania is, especially their underground glacier. Imagine entering the Scarisoara Cave in the beautiful Apuseni Mountains of Romania, where a breathtaking natural wonder awaits, the Scarisoara Glacier. This spectacular ice cave is like a magical underground world, located 1,165 meters above sea level. It's the second largest underground glacier in all of Europe, boasting a massive volume of 75,000 cubic meters. This frozen marvel has been around for more than 3,500 years, making it a true ancient wonder. To experience the full enchantment, it's best to visit during summer, as you step inside, you'll feel the temperature sharply drop, adding to the cave's mystique. You can make it a standalone adventure by traveling about 125 kilometers from Oradea, located in western Romania. Or, if you're up for a hike, include it as a highlight of your journey any time of the year. This captivating cave is not just a cold place. It's a testament to the enduring beauty of nature where ice has formed a stunning world beneath the surface for thousands of years. The Scarisoara Glacier is a must-see, showcasing the wonders hidden within Romania's picturesque landscapes. The list doesn't end there. The Danube Delta, found in eastern Romania just a four-hour drive from Bucharest, is Europe's top-notch delta, second only to the Volga Delta in size. 
boasting 300 bird species and 160 fish species and being a haven for bird watchers and wildlife enthusiasts. It's a paradise for nature lovers. This unique spot is home to some of Europe's last wild horses, adding to its allure. Beyond its diverse wildlife, the Danube Delta is renowned for serving the country's finest seafood and fish dishes. If you're into breathtaking landscapes, wildlife, and delicious eats, this delta is the place to be. And there is even a place known as Little Paris in Romania. Bucharest earned the nickname the Little Paris, partly due to its own version of the Arc de Triomphe, appropriately named the Arch of Triumph. Built in 1936 to commemorate Romania's role in World War I, this 27-meter-tall structure mimics Paris's famous Arc de Triomphe. Adorned with sculptures by top interwar artists and crafted from Romania's best Rushitsa marble, it stands as a symbol of the city's grandeur. While not as towering as Paris's Arc standing at 50 meters, Bucharest's Arch of Triumph adds to the city's charm, keeping alive its association with the elegance of the French capital. And do you want to know an intriguing fact? Picture the 19th century when streets were lit by gas lamps and the labor of workers sparked them at dusk and put them out at dawn. Now imagine the game changer, electric streetlights. Timisoara in Romania was the trailblazer, being the first European city to embrace electric street lighting in 1884. This meant no more nightly gas lamp rituals saving money and effort. Timisoara's innovation didn't stop there. The gorgeous Peles Castle in the city became Europe's first to use electricity exclusively, thanks to its own power plant. Others across Europe surely took notes from Timisoara, realizing the perks of avoiding candlelit rooms. But did you know that Romanians don't really speak in Slavic language? Surprising as it may be, Romanians don't speak a Slavic language, despite being in Eastern Europe. They communicate in Romanian, a Romance language, making it more akin to French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. Even though you might hear some Slavic words in everyday conversation, like saying da for yes, when it comes to grammar, Romanian is remarkably close to Latin. So while their neighbors might speak Slavic languages, Romanians have this unique linguistic connection to the Romance family. It's like they're holding on to the ancient roots of Latin, the language of the Roman Empire. This linguistic twist adds a fascinating layer to Romania's identity, where you'll hear a language that shares its roots with some of the romantic and melodic tongues of Southern Europe. But what's more amazing is the special mud volcanoes that are found in Romania. But don't worry, they are not as dangerous as you think. Romania has these cool things called mud volcanoes, which despite being just six meters tall are super photogenic. Picture this, wet surfaces from the fresh mix of mud, water, and gases reflecting the setting sun, totally Instagram-worthy. You'll find them in a special 60-hectare area split into Paklele Mari and Paklele Misi, making it a unique spot in Europe. To catch this natural spectacle, head to Berka in Buzau County, about 22 kilometers from the city of Buzau and 122 kilometers from Bucharest, Romania's capital. It's like a mini muddy wonderland that's not too far from the bustling city. Perfect for an adventurous day trip. But, did you know that we couldn't have a normal life if it wasn't for some Romanian inventors? Romanians have made significant contributions to various fields, showcasing their creativity and ingenuity. In medicine, the Romanian-born physician Nicolae Paulescu played a pivotal role in the discovery of insulin a breakthrough for diabetes treatment. The field of aeronautics boasts the legacy of Henry Coanda, a Romanian inventor and aviation pioneer. He built the world's first jet-powered aircraft known as the Coanda 1910, demonstrating his groundbreaking contributions to aviation technology. Romanian engineer and inventor Aurel Persu left his mark in the automotive industry by creating the first mechanical heart in 1937, a remarkable advancement in medical technology. Another Romanian engineer, Nicolae Vasilescu Carpen, designed the world's first perpetual motion machine known as the Carpen Pile, challenging conventional notions in physics. Romania has also made strides in technology. In the 1970s, Romanian engineer and computer scientist Elie Carafoli 
made notable contributions to the development of supersonic aircraft. Additionally, the country has seen advancements in cybersecurity, with Romanian software engineer Doran Rotman contributing to the creation of the first antivirus software, paving the way for digital security worldwide. Cultural contributions are abundant, with Romania being the birthplace of sculptor Constantin Brancusi, a key figure in modern art. His innovative approach to sculpture has left an indelible mark, influencing artists worldwide. Inventiveness spans various domains, showcasing the rich tapestry of Romanian innovation. From healthcare to aviation, technology to sports and culture, these contributions underscore Romania's impact on the global stage, embodying a legacy of creativity and achievement. But before we step into a country, the most important thing to know is about its currency. And in Romania, you carry the lion in your pocket. The currency of Romania is the Romanian loi, abbreviated as RAN. Its name Lu translates to lion in English, and it has a rich history dating back to the mid-19th century. The modern version of the loi was introduced in 2005 when Romania underwent a currency reform to bring stability to its financial system before joining the European Union in 2007. The Liu is further subdivided into Bani, with a hundred Bani making up one Liu. The currency is issued and regulated by the National Bank of Romania, the country's central bank. The banknotes and coins showcase elements of Romanian history, culture, and notable personalities. Notably, the Liu has undergone several changes throughout its history, reflecting economic changes and efforts to manage inflation. The most recent revaluation occurred in 2005, with four zeros being dropped from the old currency. Romania's adoption of the low as its official currency reflects the country's commitment to economic stability and integration into the European economic system. And what would the first thing a person visiting Romania should try? Go have their national dish known as Sarmal. Sarmali, also lovingly known as Samalut, takes the spotlight as Romania's national dish, capturing the essence of the country's rich culinary tradition. Imagine a delicious cabbage roll, and you've got the heart of Sarmal. This dish is a culinary masterpiece, featuring cabbage leaves cradling a mouth-watering filling of spicy pork and rice. The magic happens when these ingredients come together, creating a harmonious blend of flavors that dance on your taste buds. The preparation of sarmal is an art in itself. The cabbage leaves are carefully selected and blanched to achieve that perfect tenderness. The stuffing, a delightful mixture of seasoned pork and rice, is generously placed within each cabbage leaf, creating little parcels of savory goodness. These bundles are then expertly rolled, creating neat packages that will soon become the star of your plate. What makes sarmal truly special is the way it brings people together. This dish often graces the tables during festive occasions and family gatherings. It's a symbol of togetherness, warmth, and the joy of sharing a delicious meal with loved ones. As you taste the layers of flavor in sarmal, you'll discover the unique taste that defines Romanian cuisine. The spiced pork adds a kick, while the rice provides a comforting balance. It's a dish that tells a story, echoing the culinary heritage of Romania.